right, so I figured I was going to try and do a YouTube channel again. Uh, I had one for a short time, a long time ago, uh, which was found by one of my coworkers, and uh, much crap came to follow. So, first things first, Jeff, you need a new hobby. Stop watching my videos. All right, so let's move on. Um, it's gonna be kind of informal. It's uh, I'm doing a channel on basically outdoor stuff. Um, it's gonna be the inaugural video. Uh, today I am out of Quiver River State Park, gonna go do a day hike. Uh, nothing major, but uh, for the first steps, I'm going to do a breakdown of my uh, day hike bag. <clears throat> I have a different bag for everything. It's gonna be an overnight hike, just an overnight. I have a bag for that. If it's gonna be an extended trip, I have a bag for that. Uh, the reason for that is, is if it's gonna be a long backpack trip, uh, I'm gonna need a bigger, more involved bag than if it's just going to be a uh, jaunt around the park. Uh, and you don't want to carry that that huge bag for a short hike because bigger bag means more weight and it's unnecessary if it's unnecessary. So I have a bag for just extended hiking, a uh, short hike like a overnight or a weekend. Um, I have a small uh, external frame for overnight and weekend. And then I have the smaller yet bag for going out and doing a day hike like this <clears throat> where I'm only going to be out for a few hours of the day or whatever. Um, so I'm going to do a breakdown of that. Um, some people add more or less. Um, I just I carry what I found it to be necessary. So uh, it's the, the bag itself is nothing fancy. It's something I got from Walmart. There's no reason to need a you know $300 bag just to go around the the block. Uh, a little past my rant on that because you get those people who I, I got to buy this and you know, if you like something you like something so be it. But um, all right, well let's tear the bag apart. <laughs> All right, so here is the bag in question. Just a real basic Ozark Trail bag I got from Walmart. Nothing fancy about it. I couldn't even tell you what size this is. It doesn't say on here, so. Um, really nothing fancy about it. It's bag, it works. Um, has spot carry water, which is awesome. I got more inside the bag itself, so uh, there's that. Let me set this up here real quick. All right. So it's a day hike. Um, you can go and find a gajillion different rules about how much water you should and shouldn't carry. Um, get to know you. Carry what you need. Some people need more. Some people need less. Um, I'm taking a relatively short hike. I'll be done in an hour and a half probably. So I just brought more main Nalgene. Uh, I like the wide mouths more because the while the narrow mouths are easy to drink out of like a bottle <laughs> but uh, they are a lot harder to clean so these are a lot easier to keep clean and uh, so therefore you don't get any kind of bacterial growth or anything like that uh, which you shouldn't really have anyway in the plastic bottles like this but uh, better safe than sorry. I carry so I, I take whatever I need, so I've decided that this would be enough water for me today. It's relatively warm, but I'm all hydrated going into it. Um, that being said, whenever I have, anytime I'm deciding to go out, I will go, okay, I need this much, and I will bring twice as much. Okay. Um, water equals weight, so unfortunately this is going to just add to my pack's weight. Um, I actually have a, a second bottle in here, just generic drinking water. Which is kind of the last grab because it's a sealed bottle. But uh, water's important, uh, especially like I said, it's kind of hot today. I think it's 82 degrees, is what the truck said. So uh, I mean, you, you're gonna start sweating a lot. You get moving, you start carrying weight because this backpack's not not uh, light. I I couldn't tell you what it is exactly. I probably should weigh it, uh, and I may do that after this. But um, all right, so water, I will keep snacks in here normally uh, nothing major uh, depending on the type of hike I'm going on uh, sometimes I will carry some of the higher calorie workout type you know clip bars stuff like that uh, just because if you're gonna be out there extended period of time I just have a couple basic granola bars just something to tide you over because you're, you're ultimately working your body needs fuel um, I keep some of these in here year, year round there's little hot packs break open and uh, I keep them year round because 
sometimes the weather does weird crap in the Midwest. So if I'm out, after, end up being out after dark and temperature drops to the point where you, know, you need to keep warm, then it, it's the Midwest. Weird crap happens, so I keep them there year round. Um, I wish I had a map of where I'm at. Uh, the nice thing about Missouri State Parks is they generally always have available one of a map of, of the park of, of the trail. So I, I don't know if I've ever been to one that didn't have something available. So that's awesome. Whether or not you have a direct trail map like this, or you can just, there's a lot of different websites out there that you can go and find <clears throat> topographical maps and survey maps and stuff like that that you could, you, you know, you could uh, orient off of. Uh, it's not as ideal as, hey, this is the trail, but uh, it'll work just fine. Um, in that same that same pocket, I have a novel. Um, I will often carry a book because if I decide to take a rest or something happens where I'm stuck out there for a while waiting for help, you gotta keep your mind busy. So I always carry a book or you know something. I try to keep entertainment uh, off electronic so because batteries die. Um, let's see what else I got. Here. Uh, rain protection. Nice little raincoat here. Uh, there's nothing. Again, it's the Midwest. It may say there's no rain, but it could come out of nowhere. It, it is what it is. So I'd rather be prepared and have it. Because nothing's worse than being soaked and having to still complete your hike. Uh, when it's a little earlier or later in the year, I'll carry an extra jacket. I don't I don't carry that extra all year long because if it, in a pinch, this would work to help keep a little core temperature in. Uh, <clears throat> but an extra jacket is just, it's a lot of extra weight, so I, I don't carry that year round in my, in my day hike pack. Um, gloves, just some basic work gloves. These are basically knockoff. We want to be mechanics gloves. Um, because I don't like get my hands tore if I got to go somewhere that is a little more thick. Because uh, I don't always hike right on trails. Sometimes I orient off trails for stuff like geocaching or some other reason it takes me off the trail. <clears throat> GPS. This is Magellan. It's waterproof. It floats. Uh, a lot of people have the Magellan versus Garmin argument. Honestly, I have no problem with either. It's just that years ago when I was doing search and rescue, I carried Magellan. I'm used to how they function. I bought a Magellan. No other reason other than it's what I'm familiar with. But also don't trust technology. Uh, so I have a good old fashioned silver compass. I think this guy is a ranger. Yes. Yeah, ranger right there. So, which you probably can't see because it probably won't focus on that. It's still focused on me. But uh, yeah, the model is, is 515 ranger. So. Uh, these are great. I think they're usually about 50 bucks. Um, I prefer the flip like this because you can you can target and shoot azimuth off of that little piece there. And it's got the mirror so you can still read. I mean, it, it's a great device. Plus, in a pinch, you could potentially use that mirror as a signaling device uh, if it so came down to it. So <clears throat> I've had this same compass forever. I've got a couple of these. They're great. Um, there's that. A couple... Uh, couple stap lights, glow sticks, whatever I'll call them. Good. Light in a pinch if you need it. Uh, pen. You never know when you need to write something down, take notes. I have a notepad here as well. Usually though that pen gets dug out for if I find a geocache I can sign myself in. Extra batteries that are the same batteries that either A, go into that GPS unit, or B, my flashlight that I carry. The flashlight doesn't stay in the uh, backpack because I carry it on my belt. Um, probably should have one in the backpack as well, but I generally carry this LED mag light on my belt so I don't have it in my pack because I always have a flashlight on me. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. That's self-explanatory. Lighter. I'm going to keep this out because I'll there on my neck when I'm actually hiking. It's easier to access that way. Um, main pocket. Turn this guy around. So, attached to one of the straps, I have this little first aid kit. Um, 
it's just for, for very, very minor injuries. I mean, it's band-aids, antiseptic. That's that's about it. There's there's not much that's special to it. So, um, and then next down the other strap is my radio. Well, here's a lapel mic for my radio. What I actually have here is a small um, UHF VHF transceiver. It's um. I don't know how they pronounce this. I don't know if it's Baofeng, if it's Bofeng. I, I've heard it both ways from people. They're small, cheap, Chinese-made um, ham band or other band radios. They're great. You can program for whatever you want. I have a few different frequencies on there for communication if necessary. The only problem is that radios are not as popular as they used to be. I mean, with the ham bands, you can you could probably find somebody if you need help because there's always somebody listening and that kind of stuff. Um, which I don't have yet because I'm still working on getting my license, but uh, I have other frequencies on there that aren't as heavily monitored, but um, I have it on scan so I could hear if I hear people talk I could potentially get a hold of them so Plus they're great when you have more than one person with you so you can keep track with a group if you split up for whatever reason So I mean there's just reasons I have it uh, I got a few different things programmed in there uh, This is a little extra weight that I probably I wouldn't say I don't need it. I, I, I'm gonna take that back. I have it. It is what it is. It's it's a trauma kit that I put together. I've got a bunch of stuff in here, but the only thing I'm really gonna get into is I don't want to get into the the first aid stuff because uh, that's just not what we're talking about today. That, that's that's a segment you can do an entire channel on that kind of stuff, and I'm I'm not gonna do that. So uh, the one thing I will diverge real quick to, to harp on is tourniquet. Okay, uh, bleeding out's a stupid way to die if you don't. <laughs> so, I keep a tourniquet on. I have a cat tourniquet that I keep in my bag. Um, it could literally be the difference between life and death uh, for something that is completely avoidable. So, I always keep a tourniquet. And, and you could argue that for any first aid supply realistically, but um, this is kind of the, the main one. I just I, I always have one of these in my kit. So, I've got a bunch of other stuff Sam splints, Israeli bandages other stuff like that so I mean I could go into detail on that but like I said that's that's a topic for another day uh, it's a lot more involved gauze pads over here I mean I got, I got all sorts of stuff and like I said you gotta kind of pick and choose because everything equals weight all stuff equals weight so I have oh, I got some more food in here so yeah unfortunately you need to go through every once in a while and, and check to see what you got in there because my bag kind of just gathers stuff and I don't always go through and check to see what I do and do not have um, but yeah that's that's my basic pack not a lot to it that's pretty simple uh, last time I weighed it was I think around 20 pounds but uh, that was a long time ago and I don't know how much I have added or subtracted since then but it's just basic supplies to get through a hike um, slash you know, some real basic stuff. If, if something were to happen, I'd be on the trail for a while for survival, but it's by no means long term. Uh, I mean, it is it is a very basic kit. So if I get stuck out there overnight, I would be fine. But it's not going to be good for an extended you know, multi-day thing. I have a different bag for that. So, yep, that's the kit for that. Um, we're going to get a hit on the trails in a second. 